Well, this is Charles Kirkwood from saratogawine.com, and today we are joined by Howard Herring from BNP. Great wine. Better prices. Delivered right to your door. saratogawine.com. So what are we tasting today? Well, we're gonna start with Abracadabra by Baynot. This is an unusual wine. It is from Bordeaux, from the Côte Castillon on the right bank. It is 100% Merlot. It is also certified organic, certified biodynamic, and no sulfites employed in the production of the wine. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Alain Turin is a fourth generation winemaker, and he does wonderful things with very, very clean wines. And people are concerned these days. And this is his response. And I love it. We'll taste it. And dare I say, it's magic. <laughs> First off, I think you'll notice that the color has a deeper purple hue mm -hmm. than one would normally be accustomed to. A lot of fruit in the nose, a lot of dark fruit in the nose. Oh, yeah. And the palate follows through with what you get in the nose. Mm -hmm. You get that dark fruit on the palate. You get a lovely lingering finish. And as I said, I think this wine is magical. Oh yeah, that's great. Well balanced, but you know, still, well, that'd be a great entry point for you know someone just getting into Bordeaux. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and, or someone who is concerned with being organic, which yeah. obviously is no chemicals, biodynamic, which is taking that even a step above, mm -hmm. and no sulfites used. Remember, you can't say no sulfites in a wine. They naturally occur. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> Chateau Ampelia. And this wine is made from organic grapes. It is certified organic. Okay. And this is about 80-20. Okay. 80% Merlot, 20% Cabernet Franc. Chateau Ampelia is owned by the Despagne family, particular Bernard Despagne, from the famous Santa Mion Chateau, Grand Corban Despagne. Color has some bright red tones to it. In the nose, I'm picking up that little, almost peppery note from oh, the Cabernet yeah, Franc. Absolutely. Really, it's almost savory. Mm hmm. Great food wine. Mm hmm. It's a good acidity, but still well balanced. Tannins are there, but not, not overwhelming. Absolutely. Yeah, that's beautiful. You look for balance in a wine. I mm -hmm. look for balance in a wine. Yeah, absolutely. Chateau La Roque. So, this, interestingly enough, does have Cabernet Sauvignon in it. It's not Merlot Cabernet Franc, it's Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. It was awarded 92 points. Chateau La Roque is made by the Ducor family, who have a lot of holdings on the right bank. This, however, is their only wine from the left bank. I think this is one of the stronger values you'll ever encounter. I'm getting almost, almost a Pinot Noirish high tone oh, yeah. bitter cherry mm -hmm. note. Oh yeah. More of the Cabernets coming through, gives you a more tannic structure. Mm -hmm. Yet on the palate, it was softer than the nose would imply. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nicely mm -hmm. balanced. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Chateau Simard. It's 80% Merlot, 20% Cabernet Franc. Chateau Simard was once considered in a publication, the most popular Merlot-based wine in the country coming in from France. Huh. It made its bones because it's basically on the core list of every steakhouse in the country. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh nicely integrated. This would be perfect with a steak. Mm -hmm. This would be perfect with a stew. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's a great value. I yeah, believe yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Really well made. Pretty intense. You know, ex perfect example of Saint Emilion. Yep. Mm -hmm. I well, want to thank you for having me. Oh, I appreciate it, Howard. I hope thank to do you it so again. Much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most certainly. You're welcome back anytime. If you enjoyed this video with Howard and want to watch more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And all of these selections are available at saratogawine.com. Just follow the link in the description.